Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all to episode number 27 of my Slasher Movie Archives. In this video, I will be giving my review for The Leprechaun's Curse. Originally released in 2021, although it just now made its way to the U.S. stores here in 2022 as of the recording of this video. The Leprechaun's Curse also goes by the alternate title, The Leprechaun's Rage. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one, Tilly is shocked to learn that she has inherited the estate of her real father, whom she never met. When she and her friends travel to her late family's home, Tilly begins to piece together her father's deep, dark secrets, including the fact that he was a gold broker who attained his gold in mysterious ways. Before long, Tilly discovers that the gold belongs to an evil leprechaun who is intent on getting it all back and killing anyone who gets in his way. Okay, so getting into my thoughts for this one, The Leprechaun's Curse is the sequel to The Leprechaun's Game that was released in 2020. If you haven't seen that movie, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below to my review, just so you can get up to speed with these films, just in case you are interested. I didn't really have high hopes for The Leprechaun's Game when I watched it, even though I was excited to be watching a film about a killer leprechaun. Oddly, even though I didn't enjoy that movie, I automatically knew if they were going to make a sequel that I was going to watch it. Not that I have high hopes for The Leprechaun's Curse, because I didn't. I just figured that coming from the same director as the first film, Louisa Warren, I thought that the director could take a step forward and improve upon the first film. This movie does exactly what I thought it needed to do. It simplifies things. It's nowhere near as ambitious as the first film. It takes a group of characters and puts them in a central location and has them being stalked and killed by the returning killer leprechaun. It's as simple as that. So by simplifying the story, I thought they could focus more on improving the leprechaun's character and actually improving the kills. So to me, by improving these two areas alone, this sequel could have been pretty fun. It could have added to the overall entertainment value of the movie, but that just doesn't happen. There's really nothing remotely entertaining about this movie. I will say that for a low-budget film, the picture quality is pretty nice, but my biggest problem is with the audio quality. At the main menu, we only get a play movie or trailer option. It's very bare bones. There's no audio options. And even if there was an audios option menu, I don't believe it would have done anything to help this movie because it has more to do with the way the movie was filmed. For example, there is these outdoor exterior scenes where we have conversations between the characters and it's extremely difficult to understand what they are saying because the camera is picking up so much background noise from nearby passing traffic. Now, to be fair, this doesn't happen during all the outdoor exterior scenes, but it is something that is present enough that I thought it would be worth mentioning because it's really distracting when you're trying to hear dialogue but you can't because there's so much background noise. Another example of this is there is a room that has an indoor pool, and a lot of these scenes sort of have this echo effect from the room. Not to mention that people are actually in the pool splashing around. It just really makes it hard to hear what people are saying in some of these scenes when the camera is picking up so much background noise. We also have a few scenes where people will be talking and the actual score of the movie is turned up so loud we can't really make out what these conversations are even about. Which leads me to the point of just saying the hell with it and just getting my own personal visual understanding of what's going on and just moving on about the movie that way. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the characters we have in The Leprechaun's Curse. Tilly Cohen is the main character in this movie storyline. She has inherited a manor house from her father, who she never met. We do get some backstory on her father, and he had a cash-for-gold business in which he comes in possession of the leprechaun's gold, in turn curses his family to face the wrath of the leprechaun's rage. Tilly brings along her mother, Linda, 
her cheating boyfriend Ben, and a small group of friends to check out her newly inherited manor house. Each person receives a handwritten letter from the leprechaun. Each letter refers to his missing gold. They are then stalked and picked off one by one. We also have the director Louisa Warren's character returning from the first film. And even though this is a returning character, this character doesn't really offer any kind of excitement or interest as a returning character. And overall, I found it to be a struggle following these characters through the storyline. The acting was rough and there's nothing really remotely interesting about any of these characters. You really just want to see them die just to get it over with. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the most important part of a slasher movie, that is the killer and the kills. Balto returns to play as the leprechaun in this sequel, and hopefully I pronounce his name correctly. My Vietnamese name pronunciation isn't exactly what it used to be. But everything that I had negative to say about this slasher villain in the first movie returns for this movie. The character design is just awful, and it just looks all thrown together. Improvements could have been made to the overall look of the leprechaun, but no effort was made. In fact, I would go so far as to say that even less effort was put into the look of the leprechaun this time around. It's very clear that the actor is wearing a cheap mask. You can clearly tell where the plastic or latex meets the actor's skin. There was no attempt to make this look good or believable. And the problem is that they insist this is a real magical leprechaun. But to me, if they were going to go with a fake, cheap-looking mask, I feel like this character works much better as a psychopath pretending to be a leprechaun and just dressing up as one instead of insisting that this is the real deal. But that's just my opinion. Also, with this being a real demonic leprechaun, the evil-sounding demon voice returns. I struggled through the entire first film trying to understand what the leprechaun was saying. Here, the struggle continues. For an example, the evil villain will call out thief to his victims that he is approaching. Thief is what he is trying to say, but it actually sounds like he is saying teeth. And all I could think about was this killer leprechaun should actually be a killer dentist. As far as the kills go, the movie has a really small body count. I can only recall around four or five kills. This time around, the leprechaun uses his magic mostly, which is basically this really fake-looking CGI green mist. We are to believe the green mist captures the victim's souls. But basically what's happening is we see this ridiculous-looking green mist approach actors who do a really bad job of pretending to cling to life. The kills should be fun, but they are a struggle to endure. We do get one kill with an actual weapon. We see a woman trip and fall and lose her high heel shoe, only to get it smashed into her eye socket, pulling out the perfectly undamaged eyeball, and then the evil leprechaun stomps on it. This was most definitely the standout kill for me. Overall, I can't really recommend The Leprechaun's Curse. With a few tweaks with the story and the movie's villain, this could have easily been an improvement over the first film. But the sequel is a step back in the wrong direction, and I see The Leprechaun's Game as a far superior film. I don't really know what else to say. This movie is an absolute mess. You shouldn't struggle to watch a movie because you're having a hard time hearing the dialogue over all the background noise. That shouldn't be a thing. And I thought maybe it's just my physical copy, but I seriously doubt it. That's just me trying to offer an excuse, when in reality, this just feels like a project that was rushed out the door. But somehow, currently, as of the recording of this video, The Leprechaun's Curse is currently setting pretty on IMDb with a score of a 6.8 out of 10. And maybe that's because there's not many reviews out there for it, or maybe it's because people are avoiding this movie like a 17th century plague. But I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. Remember, evil never dies. It just rests a while. It watches. It waits. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you have seen The Leprechaun's Curse, or just simply let me know what you think about my review. And as always, I would like to thank you all for watching.